channel today, I have special guest Carter Share with me. What's up? And guys, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about our top worst injuries. And you're probably wondering, how has Carter ever had an injury before if he's not really flipping? Maybe it was from flipping. I mean, I've done a lot of things in my life and you guys will be very surprised. Yeah, and then you already know the one about my knee, obviously. This is my most recent injury, but I'll be talking about more of my other injuries in this video as well, but we're gonna start off today with uh, Mr. Carter. Yeah, kind of a big question mark over here. Yeah, yeah. guys, you know Carter's been injured actually before, previously. I have had injuries and that's why I am here on this video. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if I never got hurt, then I guess uh, you know, I wouldn't have much to talk about, but I do. And to kind of kick things off, I'm gonna say that I have had four major surgeries in my life and I broke both four. of my arms. Four. Four major surgeries broke both of my arms. Uh, guys, did y'all know that he's <laughs> broken both arms and had four major surgeries? Yes. If you have known that, comment down below, but I don't think you have because I did not know that. That's insane. It's absolutely crazy. That's, wow. And so, you know, let's get started. Let's get yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So I've only had thus far one major surgery compared to your four though. It's a lot. It is a lot. How, which one did you, what did you hurt? Like, I mean, I'm all put back together now. I'm totally fine, but. When I was younger, I broke uh, my right arm. I broke it like right about here, and it broke it clean through, right like where the bicep is. Wait, bone sticking out? Not on this one. Just broke it clean through, but stayed in the skin. Everything was fine. It was not a compound fracture, but it took two surgeries. I had to get metal pins inserted. I had that whole series of casts to put that back together. Seriously? Yep. So you have metal currently in your right arm? No, it's removed now. Oh, it's removed? Right. I had to get pins that were drilled into the bone to hold it back together. I don't know the name of this one anymore. But... Oh, you can actually see one of your scars. Oh, right? yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. And one right there. Yeah, it's there. I actually forgot. Yeah, you can see the wow. one right there. I actually didn't realize this. still had scars from that one. It was a long Dang. time ago. Did you ever think uh, you get your full range of motion back when it, you first had the surgery? Um, yeah, I actually have a picture of me getting the pins pulled out. Seriously? Yeah, I get it pissed <laughs> off. I'm only like, I'm young. I was in preschool. Oh, you were in preschool yeah. when that happened? Uh, yeah. Like how how did you manage to break your arm in preschool? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, we'd go on the playground, we'd play, and there was this one part where it's like elevated, and it had like a little like kind of staircase, but then there's like a bar, so you'd swing okay. on the bar and jump down, and we kept doing that. It was so a lot parkour. Of fun. Yeah. Over the, you know, very early preschool parkour, but this <laughs> last time, I think. I grabbed the bar and I swung too far and I kind of was about to land on my back so I think I put my arm back and oh, caught myself my and it just kind of did like a weird twist just kind of just right and snapped it clean through. It was a very bad break. I had to get escalated all the way through the emergency room. I was treated immediately and there was a lot of other people waiting but my injury was so much worse. They had to treat me right away. Had a surgery, got a cast, had a cast for six weeks and then surgery again to remove the pins. And uh, then, every, you know, things ended up being all right. That's that's wild. I did not know that happened to you at such an early age. Such an early age, and I remember the whole thing very vividly. I remember all the pain and all the surgeries, and you know, I remember everything. So that was your very first major injury, correct? That was my first major injury. Yep. And when that happened, did it scar you in the future to like potentially hold back on like using your arm to its full potential? You, you no, know, not at element? all. Even when I had my cast, and it was a full elbow cast, I remember going full sprint on the playground, doing everything I could. You know, it didn't wow. slow me down for two seconds. That's a young adrenaline right there. <laughs> just always, you know, just trying to always have fun, always a positive mindset, just didn't let it slow me down. You know, and luckily for me, I guess the surgeon was really good, put it back together. I haven't had any issues with my arm since. There's no pain or anything, and so it's almost as if it never happened. That's crazy. If a doctor can really finesse, like, getting you through a surgery and you have no future pain, and you got it at a young age, that's remarkable. I think the biggest issue with this break was because I was so young, I had so much more growth to go through, and it, it broke it right through a growth plate. Oh. Which is if that happens, it can stunt the stunt growth the of that growth bone. Up. So I yeah. could have ended up with an arm that was just baby length and the rest of my body full length. And so the surgery had to be a special uh, youth-like surgery that was specialized in uh, 
like youth bones, ones that are like before the growth plates actually seal. Some details like that, I can't remember all of it, but I know it was like a whole thing for the next few years of my life, always checking to make sure I was getting growth, it wasn't stunted. Yeah. And you know, I think they're, you know, about both the same yeah, length. about right. <laughs> you don't look right. uneven. Give, give or take. Yeah. You know, I think it's pretty good. I don't have like, you know, a short little baby arm, which was a huge fear back then that it could have happened because of yeah. how it broke. That's crazy, yeah. And your growth plate. I couldn't even imagine that happening at such a young age. Yeah, I mean, it broke completely clean through. So before I got back together, I was holding my, the half, second half of my arm was only hanging on by skin and muscle. There's nothing just, there just dangling like in the skin. <laughs> and so it was very painful drive to the hospital. I remember it, even though I was so young. Every bump, every move, a ton of bones would grind together. It was oh my gosh, a hitting very, a speed bump, a little jerk. It was very, very painful. I remember just screaming at my mom. I didn't know any like you know curse words or anything, but I was just like, it hurt really bad. I remember it very well, even to this day. Yeah, that's intense. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, we're good. We're good. Yeah, no, that's and that happened at the young age for you, right? I was probably like, I don't know. Preschool, six years old. Yeah, like six, five, six, five, seven, six. Like I think I was actually like seven or eight when I I split my one of my toes in half. Oh. On top, I was going off <laughs> a rope swing like a natural vine in the woods. Yeah. And uh, basically, uh, I would try to swing and just let go over this hill and drop. But there's a gate here, so one time I tried to swing and go over the gate. And it's just a natural vine, right? So I'm swinging from it and it like jerks down a little so then because of my weight. Mm -hmm. And then I let go and I came down and I don't know why I wasn't wearing shoes, but I just wasn't. And my toe came down on a metal pole, and like cut it right down the middle like that. So now I, I had like a, they put like uh, staples down my toe like that and then all the way like this. So like basically my toe still has a scar down the middle of like a white line. With yeah. slashes going through like that essentially. Wow. And my toenail broke and never grew back on one of the spots. So now it's just like messed up toenail. That's wild. Yeah, something that random. Sounds, oh, that sounds tough. Yeah, so I almost lost my whole toenail on that, but luckily I didn't. So that was just like a, a baby injury for me and a, a big one for him, but you also mentioned uh, about your other arm. That's right. How, how did that happen and how much longer did that happen after? Yes, yeah, so this was my absolute worst injury. So preschool for this arm, and then it wasn't until um, basically freshman year in high school when I broke my other arm. So both and arms. Both arms, different times, not at the same time, both arms, both very bad. The second one was a lot worse than the first, and it was a crazy accident. I'm actually talking about that a lot, a little bit in my 10 year video on my channel, so if you guys wanna see that, it's pretty cool, but to give you guys a recap of this injury, it was a motocross accident. I was out riding, and I did this huge jump, and I wanted to hit it. I hit it the first time, and I landed, I came up a little short, but I was able to ride it out. And yeah. I figured, let's try it again, I need more gas, I need to go higher, I need to go faster. I hit it the way the takeoff, I went off on the bike like this, and it was probably like a 50 foot jump. And it's, you know, dirt to dirt, and I came over the handlebars because of how I came off the lip, and so I ended up basically just belly flopping. And so nose front over. Broke, you know, landed on my hands, <sighs> bone broke, and, uh, and then I tumbled, I got all beaten up, I broke my back. You um, broke your back? Yep. Really what? Bad. Yeah, really bad accident. You did not tell me you broke your back. Yeah. Wow, I did yeah. not know that. Probably concussed, you know, but that was like the least of anyone's worries. Jeez. And so it was like a major yeah. crash. And I did not know all this. Yeah, and it was really bad. And uh, you know, I got scars all over my arm. This one, again, took two surgeries. I spent an entire week in the hospital. And this is also my left hand, which I'm a lefty, so I couldn't write for like, a few months, you know, with the, I couldn't write, oh I had to write with my right arm, this was going into high school. It was, uh, you know, nerve damage to my hand because of the bone coming through, just causing so much trauma, all this yeah. stuff. So it was absolutely insane. That was definitely quite the experience and that was definitely one that I was like probably lucky to walk away from, or I didn't walk away, but lucky to come out of. Yeah. I had to get airlifted to a hospital and again because I was in high school, it wasn't fully grown, so they had to go to a special doctor with the same kind of growth plate kind of thing. So I broke my wrist. It wasn't the wrist, I broke my arm right here, close to my wrist. Both bones completely through. But the way they had to fix it was they had to come from the back, drill through both, all the way through the center, through the bone marrow. No up, way. 
and have rods that went the length of the entire bones to put it back together because they wouldn't do screws because I was still growing. So you had to oh. repair it from the inside. So I have a scar in surgery from my elbow that goes, and I had these long rods that are about like this long that drilled through the bone marrow of both of my bones. It was a six hour surgery to put it back together. Six hours? Six hours of just <sighs> drilling just to get this arm put back together. And it was just such an insane experience. Dang, I did yeah. not know it was that long. That's intense. Yeah. That's from dirt biking. That was dirt biking. Obviously, you know, my arms in pieces, so I never did concussion tests. I was completely banged up, bruised, and sore. My back was broken, which I didn't find out until later. Um, getting, you know, x-rays of my spine and stuff like that. And That's so intense. It was very intense, yeah. So it was, uh, it was just a crazy thing. So all this has happened to you, and you walk away now, years later, walking completely fine, breathing I would, <laughs> fine. I, how do you feel now overall? Well, even before that, I would say that um, I got like three casts, maybe four casts. On my third cast, I finally got one where I could move my elbow. It was one that went from like my hand to here. I have memories of me riding my dirt bike. Oh, really? Getting back at it, yeah. And I was just so excited. In the cast. I just saw the cast on doing wheelies, got my bike fixed. <laughs> doing wheelies is cute. You know, like I'm barely able to grab on, you know, I'm out there just riding around. So like, it didn't slow me down. All I wanted to do was ride. You know, it didn't scare me for a second. And I did my even bigger jumps after that. And, um... Did you have to do PT for your arm? Like, physical no. therapy training for to like get motion and like strength again or no i didn't but like i had so many casts i had like two soft casts an elbow cast and a short cast i think and they had to get so many casts because first i was very swollen so they gave me a new one and then all my muscle atrophied so my arm shrunk down really skinny because i wasn't yeah. moving it and then by the time i got my shorter cast on I wasn't even able to straight straighten my arm for a couple of weeks because it was so tight and strong. I know exactly what you're saying with my leg. I couldn't. I, range of motion to straighten it took forever because his muscles are just stagnant. They're yeah. Sleeping. Yeah. So it was just like such a crazy experience. I actually remember being in high school freshman year when I finally got my cast off. I had still had all my stitches. I had an incision here. Uh, this is where my bone came out of my skin and then I had stitches back here. So I had like 13 stitches and my arm looked like, oh my gosh, I mean my hair was like oh, really long. Yeah. It was, I mean it was all gross and I remember Green, like, yellow. <laughs> I just remember getting it cut off finally and you know walking at school is all like color, like discolored and like all this like chemical stuff on it to keep yeah. it like clean. I know you what you're know? talking about. Yeah. And yeah, I remember that. and. You know, I don't think it took too long to bounce back. You know, I got back into swimming, I got back to training, you know, I did my best athletic performances the years after that to kind really? of got accepted to college for swimming. Oh, you know, that's set insane. school records, both in high school and college, you know, like post surgery. Yeah. Post both arms being broken, back broken, surgeries, everything. That's insane. Guys, see yeah. if you're hearing this and this is happening here, you can relate any way in your life with getting injured, there is always a way to bounce back. And I'm currently doing that right now, and I'm taking some advice from him as well with this road to recovery because my injury is more so recent. I'm only what, a month and a half out of my surgery. And now on top of me, I've only had one major surgery in my life, and it's this one with my knee. If y'all haven't seen that video, it's right up here. Uh, I was in Amsterdam. I landed a trick wrong. It's called a cork late nine, and I exploded my ACL and ruptured both meniscus which is upsetting in the same day. And yeah, guys, going from like training six, seven hours every single day to completely nothing for a solid, at least the first month, I did absolutely no movement. It's super tough, but you know, you gotta persevere and see the bigger picture in the long run. And uh, that's what I did. So I started to push myself with PT early, even though it sucked and it hurt a lot. As long as you keep that uh, motion going, because you know, motion is lotion. That's what I like to say. <laughs> you, move, you get that body moving, don't let it stay stagnant and lock up. Otherwise, you're not gonna be a happy chap because it's gonna <laughs> hurt a lot, trust me. I didn't do anything the first two weeks out of surgery. And uh, I could definitely see why that was a lot harder for me to regain my range of motion, straightening my leg, but it's definitely possible, guys. 
uh, to recover from injuries, whether it's your arms like Carter with bones sticking out or to what I knew, yeah. you know, completely oh, yeah. whole new knee essentially. Yeah. It's, it's pretty tough. <laughs> so let us know if you guys can relate to that down below because look at us. We're still out here thriving, we're happy. Yeah, you're making it work. Yeah, we're making it work. If you can relate with any of these injuries down below, please let us know. I'd like to reach out to you and I'll hear your stories on uh, your recovery time, especially if you have one similar to our injuries. And guys, we'll see you next time's video. Hope you have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.